right guys, we just got out of the chocolate liqueur tasting. It was pretty good. I liked the tawny, tawny port. <laughs> and uh, I guess now I'm gonna take you around the ship. I haven't really done that much um, filming around the ship except for just activities. So let's go ahead and check everything out.
loud. Everyone's out on their balconies right now, kind of checking out as we're leaving. So I kind of hate that we didn't get to explore a lot of Nassau, but we had a really good time on the boat today. Time that I didn't think that we'd have if we had actually just went to Atlantis to look around a little bit. Um, I was told by multiple people that it's better to actually just do Atlantis as a separate trip entirely, fly in, do Atlantis and fly back home rather than visit on a boat, go through and only be able to do a couple things and then have to fight the traffic on the way back. But um, we're on our way back to Miami, but we're gonna do pirate night and we're gonna have dinner at the Royal Palace and have pirate night there. So, but first, shopping.
welcome the most adventurous swashbucklers ever to sail the seven seas. And the most fun bunch of pirates I know. Please welcome Mickey's Pirate Crew! That was pirate night and that was pirate night at the palace so uh, right now the boat is actually swaying a lot uh, we are kind of in the middle of Nassau and Florida and all that and we felt it, it got really rough uh, near dinner so I know that uh, the people that we were sitting with actually left early because they were feeling a little sick so um, from the rocking but uh, we're fine really i am just um full and ready to go to bed but uh tonight they're going to be doing fireworks and since we're on the starboard side and we're lower and we have a bigger deck we can see the fireworks so we're actually just going to stay in our room tonight to watch fireworks and um i'm gonna show them to you here you go Once again, I am up incredibly early, boys still asleep, and I'm going to go check out the gym. It is, time went back, so we're experiencing a really, having a really unique experience on the Disney Dream. the gym. Um, it's got your basic weights, a couple machines, a lot of treadmills and um, the bikes. Uh, the view was absolutely incredible but nothing like too like you know making you go overboard. <laughs> get it? Overboard. Um, but yeah the gym was really nice so uh, I think we're gonna get room service for breakfast and just chill today. So 
today is seriously just a lot of chilling by the sea. Nothing really much to going on. I know that we might try to see Mickey at two o'clock today. And right now we're just waiting for our breakfast to get here from room service. Got some bagels, some cereal, and some fruit. Uh, we're gonna try that out instead of going to Cabana's. I think that for lunch today, we're going to go to Flo's again, and then we're gonna try vanilla peas for the first time. That'll be great. And uh, yeah, just a lot of water activities, finishing up some shopping and wrapping up the day at sea. All right, so I'm all changed up. You know, loves the magic. Uh, we're circling somewhere near the West Palm right now. So we're actually nowhere near Miami. They kind of just threw us out here since we have an extra day at sea. Um, we're gonna go shopping and get some stuff done. And then, uh, like I said, we might do some Mickey, some Goofy. Uh, I just realized they're having a D23 show uh, at sea, which would be really cool. We get to see everything new coming to Disney. And like I said, we're just gonna take it day by day. May dip in the pool a little bit more. May ride the aqueduct one more time. you saw the clip before there's kind of a little bit of rainstorm going on um the light is trying to come back in i kind of wanted to record this like while it was kind of dark outside and get a good view i can actually touch right here and you all can well never mind the sheets in the way but so um while i'm sitting here i want to go ahead and kind of give you all my thoughts on my first cruise how i think that it went so i got my little notes right here so let's go through it uh number three things that we liked the most about the cruise. The service was phenomenal. Uh, we loved our um, head server. We liked just the regular servers as well that would come and help us. Uh, the person that comes in and cleans the room. They were absolutely fantastic. Five out of five stars. I have never seen service like that before. Um, the server like remembered like what the other people were sitting with us knew what they liked to drink and if would offer really good recommendations and he was usually right um, about his recommendations as well and kept things interesting. We had puzzles at our table. It was pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing was definitely Castaway Key. That was the highlight of the trip. The private island, the view, Serenity Bay. Then we could just go and get a, grab a couple drinks and then go to the barbecue place and grab food and then we headed back. Um, we headed back around maybe two o'clock. We had two hours of just boat time that day too. And since everyone was still on Castaway Key, soaking up that time, a lot of the boat was empty and it was actually really, really nice. 
And then the third thing that we liked was there was just plenty of activities to do, especially for adults. I know that we were constantly checking the app to see uh, what was there as far as character greets. Uh, we didn't do any of the trivias, but you know, there was still just plenty to do, but we were so busy ourselves, you know, we didn't really have time. So with that, I'm gonna actually lead with the things that we did not like and that we did not enjoy because you know, no cruise is perfect, even if it is Disney. So, uh, first off was Nassau. The boat, kind of, the port led straight into the city and it immediately felt like you were being attacked by sharks. <laughs> uh, jumping into straight shark infested waters. Um, constantly asked if we wanted cigars, um, you know, to rent scooters, all that. And to be honest, we just kind of wanted to see the historical, like, things of it and from where the time that we arrived we got off the boat right at eight nothing was open and the city was kind of just dead so we went to a couple of the port shops and that was it we didn't go too deep into the city because we just didn't know we wish that it was more kind of like disney protected oriented and i know that they did have tours but we didn't really take a look at those tours as well which also leads into my next thing was the lack of events for atlantis um in order to go to atlantis for a full day you know you had to pay like 500 something it was like 238 dollars per person and i was told by multiple people that it was best to stay on the boat a lot of people just stayed on the boat today uh, or the other day um it was pretty full believe it or not. I um, talked to a couple people as well and they said the best thing to do with Atlantis is to plan a completely separate trip entirely. And the last thing uh, that we kind of experienced, especially with the boat being crowded today, was that there's just not enough water. <laughs> um, a lot of, even on the adult end, uh, it was full, it was not very spacious at all. We even went to the Satellite Falls where we were relaxing the other day that was awful all the chairs were taken and i even think that our cruise boat is not that crowded and still you know every little bit of water was crowded because it's it was hot even in november it it's still like 80 degrees and even with it being windy and stuff people are still going out and checking out the water and stuff so we just decided to retire from water activities today but we still have a little bit more left um throughout the day we're going to go to animators palette tonight and check that out and then we are going to, um, before that, go to Disney's Believe, which is a small play that I think you can only see here. And I think that's about it. But, oh, I also want to, I think I will show you all the merchandise. I don't know when, but I'll show it eventually. ahead and whip back out the merch and we are going to take a look at that first actually um, if I can show it off I went on the very first day and bought a Pandora charm and I know that some people didn't like to mention them or I tried to like find forums and stuff where people mentioned them and you know I didn't really see anybody talking about it but um, this is exclusive to the dream and they did have multiple other charms like Castaway Key, and I believe I did show that off in the video, but it was really cool, and that's just another charm added to my bracelet. The next things we have are the two pens that I got. These are going to go on my little photo books that I usually get that I make out of. I made a trip book about uh, my Walt Disney trip a long time ago. It's actually been four years since I went to Disney. Um, so there's that. Then for a shirt, I love hanging. So I got, hey, hey, I'm on vacay. This is one of the shirts that I really loved the most. It was really, really cute. I was in love with it when I saw it. And it's even got the Disney Cruise Line thing or logo at the bottom. And the most expensive purchase, which actually competes with the charm. I think the charm was the most. I did get my first spirit jersey. So... Here is the front. It just has the cruise line logo, but on the back, it's got Sorcerer Mickey and the Dream. So it's a very, very cool shirt with his spirit jersey. So 
that's all for merch. Didn't go too, too crazy, but still got some really cool stuff. All right, so as stated before, um, I actually just got done watching Wally and taking a small nap. Um, we are going to go see Disney's Belief. I'll let you know how that was, and then we're going to wrap everything up with the Animator's Palette. Uh, we've already got our baggage, everything packed up. They kind of send you like um, luggage tags. You can either walk off with all your stuff in the expressway when you're leaving, or you're gonna get called by uh, tags, um, which has different Disney characters on it and they're different colors. Uh, we have Goofy, he's orange, so not sure when we're gonna get called out. All I know is that we have to be gone by eight something in the morning and breakfast is at 8.15. We have to be out of our stateroom by eight o'clock. guys so um we just got back from dinner it was really cool i got to actually talk to crush and he did say my name which is pretty cool but right now uh we're gonna do the gratuity thing and i know that a lot of people are confused about it and so were we but i'm gonna take a minute to explain it a little bit um we didn't have any cash with us so we actually went down to guest services and changed the amount that we wanted to give everyone so i wanted to take the minute to recognize um our hostess, or host, sorry, not hostess, our host, uh, Budiasa, he was absolutely amazing. I loved the Tao animals and everything. Um, our server was Eris, and he was really, really awesome, and his assistant, Jonathan. They were both absolutely amazing. I don't know if you all will ever watch this video, but thank you so much. We had an amazing time. But uh, yeah, when we see them tomorrow for breakfast, we're just gonna hand them their cards with their increased tips, and that's it. Um, you take that paper that you have, you treat them like tickets, and you put them in the envelope, and you can just hand them to them. And if you want to tip them, you either do cash, or like I said, go down to guest services, and you increase the tip. That simple. A lot of people think it's really hard, and it did take us a minute to understand, but we got it. But anyway, we're about ready to go to the see a real soon kind of celebration, and we're going to call it a night. just woke up it is I believe around 7 30 they just made the announcement that express people can get off um, don't know if you all can see it but there's the port right there in Miami um, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then I guess we're gonna head out it was an amazing cruise <laughs> 